राधे राधे सो ड्यूरिंग माई लास्ट टॉक ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ वी कैन नॉट लव गॉड आई शेयर सम वैल्यूबल थाट्स दैट इवन दो द पर्पज ऑफ आर एग्जिस्टेंस एज ह्यूमन्स इज द लव ऑफ गॉड which is synonymous with our eternal divine quest for perfect happiness we cannot love him we cannot love god the almighty and i explained that everything about god is infinite he is omnipotent and omnipresent and there's nothing or no one greater than him so how is it possible for us ignorant and significant living beings to love such an almighty god because even in the world most people like to have relations with their equal for example if the daughter of a beggar dreamt all day and all night of marrying a handsome prince he would never take any interest in her similarly it would make no difference if the daughter of a street sweeper fantasized for all eternity about marrying a billionaire that billionaire will be searching for a bride of equal financial standing the truth is that no one can love such an almighty god so is there another way to reach him no and yet yes yes there is a way to reach him even though it is impossible for us to love god the almighty god and yet there is a way to attain him and the way to attain him is by loving him so how can we solve our problem we can learn how to love god by taking a lesson from our worldly relationships take the example of a man who is let us say a supreme court judge he has so much power that he can and indeed he does give out the death sentence yet this man's family doesn't see him as a powerful personality no they see him as a loving and a caring man his mother may be illiterate but she will never think of her son as being more intelligent than herself even though he is a supreme court judge if she thought that she would be afraid of him and consequently could not love him likewise his wife will think of him as a loving husband and his children will look at him as a caring father now in the same way we must not love god or bhagwan and when i say god or bhagwan i am referring to god the almighty but we must love love him loving sentiments we should have in our heart toward god now you may say is lord krishna not god or for that matter any other form of god are they not god yes yes indeed but he is not god only or he is not only god he is also god let me explain to you in this way krishna stu bhagavan swayam lord krishna who is a supreme god 
He is not only God, just like the Supreme Court judge is not only a judge. He is also a son, a husband, a brother, a father, etc. Likewise, Lord Krishna is not only Almighty God. God is only a partial manifestation of Lord Krishna and in this manifestation he is known as Mahavishnu. There are innumerable Brahmans or solar systems. The sun and all the heavenly or the celestial abodes revolving around it and this creation and in each Brahman or solar system is governed by three essential personalities and they are Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. In this way there are innumerable Brahmas, Vishnus and Shankars in existence. And the governor of all of these in the infinite Brahmans is Mahavishnu and this Mahavishnu is a partial manifestation of Lord Krishna as it is described in the Bhagavatam in this verse. Yasyai kanishvasit kalamathavalambya jivanti loma vilaja jagadandanatha vishnur mahansa iha yasya kala vishesho govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami so the creator Brahma says, I am a servitor of Lord Krishna, whose partial manifestation is Mahavishnu. So Mahavishnu is only a manifestation of the divine personality of Lord Krishna. So in this talk, I explained that God the Almighty is not who we can love or we should love. In fact, we have to love the loving aspect of God. And how is that possible? How can we love God? What should be our sentiments? How is it possible to develop a loving relationship with that loving aspect of God known as Sri Krishna. I will address this topic or answer this question in my next talk. Srimad Sadguru Sarkar Ki Jai Srimad Yugal Sarkar Ki Jai 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 Sri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe